Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Boston Red Sox taking on the Minnesota Twins. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now and on the hill today Joe Ryan and singing it's not hard to see he's been outstanding. Well you just take a look at the numbers ERA in the low ones he's clearly been one of the best pitchers in the league this year. I mean just dynamic stuff it's electric as well as it comes through the zone hitters trying to figure out what he's doing so hard to think with and the only bad thing for him is that your ERA can really only go up it's hard to take it down lower unless you throw a shutout so we'll see what he's got in this one. On the ground right side. Kirilov oh. takes it to the bag. One up, one down. Right now the rookie second baseman, Zidane Rafaela. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no one out, base is empty. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. One ball, two strikes. And that's in the dirt. One down, base is empty. And that's outside. And the count's full. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Out towards right center field. Drifts towards it. Makes the grab for the second out. Two outs, base is empty. Now batting Tristan Casas. And first offering is fouled off. So here in the three spot, Chris, a hitter, low average, but high slug. Well, one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck hitting the ball right at people. And down on strikes he goes. And a night. Back here with my pal Siggy and towing the slab, Cutter Crawford. Well, what quickly stands out to me for this guy is that he comes in with a three to one strikeout to walk ratio on the season. So when you consider consistency, the ability to get swings and misses and to limit base runners, that's critical in winning games today, especially when teams are depending on the big swing, the whole run to win ball games. So digging in, Edouard Julien. Lasted two home runs in last night's game. Strike one. Oh, and one. And that one is lifted in the air. O'Neill drifts towards it. Hooks it away for the out. And there's one down. Here's Royce Lewis. Buxton on the run. Pitch misses in. Throw to second. He's safe. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Oh, that's and that's outside, oh, and it's 2-0. and oh. Swing and a pop-up. O'Neal on his horse. He's got it. Runner tagging for third. Changes his mind. Stays put at second with two away. Here's Carlos Correa. That one is absolutely belted. And gone! The two-run shot is fourth home run of the season. And they jump out front. It's 2-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Booth. Aggressive, and it paid off. 
good hitter gets pitch recognition early, he saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here's Alex Kirilov. Comes in working with the sixth best average in the AL. On the ground, Rafaela tosses the first and that is the inning but the twins bring in two on the homer and it's two zip and welcome back to the ballpark second inning set to go and now the dh number 47 hey. in there at the knees for a strike well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there and have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. In the air, right side. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. O'Neill on his way to third. The relay throw in there hey. safely. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at that. Strike two. One away with a runner at third. Here at the top of the second. One ball. Two strikes. In the dirt. And the runner stays where he is. the zone that strike one just oh, missed the Red Sox trailing by two here in the second That's game of the series that two misses one. the zone and it's two and one swing and a high fly ball to left Larnick in position brings it in for the third out back at target field and now Brian Jeffers the wind of the pitch. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And gone! He sends it out of here. His second of the year, and they add a run. It's 3-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. It's like slow motion for a hitter. You're just licking your chops, waiting for it to arrive, and you want to hit it a long way, and he did. Max Kepler at the plate, homered last night, added another hit as well. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. This one in the air. Gets under it. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. Matt Walmer, the next twin up to hit. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Abreu puts it away. And yeah, there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Trevor Larnick. That oh. misses, and it's 1-0. Oh. Left-hand hitter waits. Aye. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. One ball, two strikes. Down on strikes. And that is that. And we're back. Top half of the third inning. Now the third baseman, Connor Wong. Gets the outside corner with that one. Wong, 27 years old. What a run over the last 10 as he's hitting over 400 during that span. 
just off the outside part of the plate. In the air, right field. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. So stepping in for Boston, Willier Abreu. In there, and it's 0-1. The Twins leading by three. We're here at the top half of inning number three. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, he's got great strikeout stuff on the mound, doesn't he? I mean, double digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. That one in there across the letters. This the third, Lewis. Zips it across, and the inning is over. One set for the bottom of the third, and now for the Twins, Byron Buxton. Crawford back to work. And a good eye there. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Next offering is in for a strike. And it skips in the dirt. And another ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Three balls, two strikes to count. Got him looking. Throws him with the heater at the knees. Edouard Julien, the next twin up to hit. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. And that's off the inside edge. And now it's even one and one. And there's a ball. and misses struck him out tasked with one two and three to start this inning but no trouble so far I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here make a little statement but you've got to be composed in this spot focus on getting this next guy you got two groups to Casas and the twins go one and welcome back to the ballpark now the number two hitter Sidane Rafaela that one finds the zone. Oh, and one. Oh, and one. You know, these Red Sox, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, puts it away for the out. Tristan Casas up next for the Red Sox. That one clips the outside corner, and it's 0-1. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. To second, and he's safe. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. That oh, one misses, and the count is one and one. The Red Sox trailing by three. Top half of inning number four. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Tyler O'Neill. And first offering is fouled off. Swings through that. 
Well, that's that slope right there. He threw oh, it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to it. One left for Back in Minnesota. Now Correa up to hit. A wind in the pitch. Out to short. Dahlbeck. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Tough play and a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out, but it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip nope, or something. Good. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. Now a screamer into the outfield. And there's one away. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. They get it in quickly. So first and second now one out. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Recognized the break on that pitch early, and that allowed him to keep his front shoulder in. You know, it's easy to bail on those front door breaking balls, but a great job right there of letting it travel. Then a man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Makes the grab on the run. That is Ryan back to work. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Larnick flashes the leather on the running catch. Now that he was all oh, over that first pitch oh, pass, but just I barely mean. missed it. Man, this guy was oh, ready to hit. Dahlbeck now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Pitch is in there. Two. 0 and 2. Hit in the air, right field. Kepler moving under it. Two away down. Two outs, space is empty. And stepping in for Boston, Connor Wong. And that one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. This one rolled to Kirilov. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for the Twins, Trevor Larnick. The other way, and it goes just foul. Left-hand batter waits. Off the plate, ball one. Well, these Twins, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's no... This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Out of here. His second over in this series, and they add on. It's 4 nothing. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. I feel like everything goes slow motion when a breaking ball like that leaves the hand right down the middle of the plate, and it's like the pitcher screaming, no, and the hitter saying, no. And the ball gets tattooed for a big home run. Here's Byron Buxton. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. And a foul ball. And here it comes. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. And that one's gone. A gigantic blast. 
is 14th of the year, and they add to the lead. It's five zip. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Manager out of the dugout now, and Garrett Whitlock gets handed the rock out of the pen. He's into the game with the bases empty. So up next for Minnesota, Edouard Julien. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Moore, get it. Way back there and gone. A massive home run. That's his third home run of the series. It's 6-0. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. Back to back to back home runs, and these guys look so dominant right now. Pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not, but I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense. Here's the third baseman, Royce Lewis. On the ground, out to short. Dahl back to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. And here comes Carlos Correa. He's already homered in this game. That one fouled off. Already three runs across in the frame. Last half of inning number five. On a line out towards center. Reyes calls it in to away. And next for Minnesota, Alex Kirilov. On the ground to third. Wong on to first. That ends the inning. Back at target field, all set for the start of the inning. Now the left fielder, Willier Abreu, fought off foul. You know, these Red Sox just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. There he goes down looking. Well, he throws it with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. And here is Sidane Rafaela. And first offering is fouled off. The Red Sox with a lot of ground to make up. And we're the top half of the sixth. Ground ball could be two. There's one. Double play. They can't seem to. And we're back. Well, we go bottom six. And here's the catcher, Brian Jeffers. And a pitch. Swings through that one out in front that time. Whitlock, in his fourth year, he features a sinker, a changeup, a slurb, and he works in a four-seamer. At the belt and fires. Down the line. O'Neal on his horse. Won't get to this one. It drops foul. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one away. Now batting Max Kepler. Late on that fastball. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down. That one ripped. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Throws to second. 
and he'll reach second with one away. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Yeah, yeah. Got a fastball in the middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. And that one hit to first, and it kicks off the bag into the outfield base hit. The run comes in from second. It's seven to nothing. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much, and he was able to keep it fair down the line. One down. And now for the Twins, Trevor Larnick. One for two. They stack center field. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. The center field. Everything was on time and flew in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Buxton stands in now, looks at that one inside. Not even close there. And that's ball two. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. That one spoiled, and the count now two to one. Two on, one out. That misses, and it's three and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Righty to the plate. Good job to fight that one off. Three. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. So first and second with two outs. Here's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. Here's your one. And yeah. strike two. He finds himself in a oh, tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. And hard, that gets through. Around third. Fires it to the plate. It's offline. <laughs> the run comes in. Picks himself up at RBI. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big new arm out of the bullpen, Josh Winkowski. And this is a really tough spot to come into as he tries to keep this one close. You almost have to forget about the runners in scoring position. They're not going anywhere. Focus on the hitter, getting that. Passes to first. They limit the damage here. Still stepping in for Boston, Tristan Casas. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two out. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Ground ball, left side. Lewis throws oh. to first. And it's a one, two, three. Back in Minnesota, bottom of the seventh. Now the cleanup hitter for Minnesota, Carlos Correa. Here comes a pitch. And yeah. that's off inside. the inside edge. Ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Brennan Bernardino up and throwing. Number 28 also getting ready. Swings through that one for strike one. He's been great in this one. Eye hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. 
the Last shortstop ball, takes the ball. Two balls, one strike. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Alex Kirilov, the next twin up to hit. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Man at first, Ryan Jeffers, the next twin up to hit. On the ground, could be two. Touches the bag for one. And it's a double play to end the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to begin the eighth. Stepping in, Reese McGuire. That one catches the corner for a strike. Ryan still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. Larner pulls it in for the out. And there's one down. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there, so once it drops in here, you're on your way to extra bases. Correa over to first. And they got him. A brave hey. in the box again. Takes the strike. Foul off left side. The 0-2. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Foul ball still 0-2. Hey. Out number three. And the Red Sox. Back at target field, and now the right fielder, Max Kepler. The pitch. Up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. And now the Minnesota designated hitter, Matt Wallmer. And that is cut on and missed. Going one. Didn't All recognize off speed. Thought it was fastball. A little bit out in front. One down, base is empty. Rip to short. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. Here's the left fielder, Trevor Larnick. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. 0 oh and 1. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Whips it to Casas. Three up, three down, inning over. And we're back. Pablo Reyes stands in. He's in there. Here's the 0-2. On the ground to short, Correa. Gets it to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. And next for the Red Sox, Sidane Rafaela. And there's the strike. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. The Red Sox with a lot of ground to make up here at the top of the ninth. Line drive, makes the catch for the second out. So two down now, and here is Tristan Casas. Right through there for a strike. You just don't see it that much anymore, a guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. It's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. They're down to their final strike. The Red Sox down to their final strike. Yeah. And that is the ball game. 
often has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. 8 nothing is how this one ends for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.